two, one, sink. sink. What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to TTV episode 266. I'm Honey Vesso. <laughs> I'm Var. I'm Takuma Nuva. And I'm Purple. And hello, everybody! What was How that intro? Hi. What was that intro? I've never heard you go, Oh, what's up, man? Okay, maybe I know, you, man, usually for the, for the TV podcast, you have Nesso. Just, hello, who's just, everybody. He's like, hello, no, no, no. no what, welcome to TTV. The thing is, Nesso always stays up all, like, late all night, and then he wakes yeah. up, like, two minutes before we're supposed to start the recording. <laughs> so true. for the past, like, ten episodes, it's been, hey, everybody, and welcome to the TV podcast. Uh, I'm Nesso. It's weird. I think it was, like, like getting this it's podcast disgusting. together. disgusting. You're disgusting. Maybe that's why I have you muted. It's like Maybe. You, it's like you can almost smell the morning breath. <laughs> wow, that's See, not true at all. That was a. Uh, you can hear the morning breath. Thankfully, uh, that is not true. I do I actually want, prefer uh, to. Before. Uh, uh, no, I, I think it's like a counter effect because like getting this podcast together today was a bit of a challenge, and I think the <laughs> challenge of it like hyped me up. If that makes right. any sense. No, that, that makes um, complete total sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Energize you. You sound like you're energized, which is good because I think maybe that might have been like mentally part of the reason why I was very gung ho about switching up who's hosting the episode because it sounded yeah. like you wanted to kill yourself every single episode <laughs> for the past like, 20 episodes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I <laughs> miss the podcast. I love hosting it, but it is, it has been refreshing to see you guys take a crack at it. And now I get to come back and I'm like, yeah. It's exactly. Yeah. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing, you know? Yep, just like my article. That's why they canceled it twice. I mean, what? Huh? <laughs> just I like Sanjago, which is why we couldn't give them a good movie. <laughs> what? Oh. what? Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate how you guys can use that against me now. <laughs> Listen. Oh, what does it I'm feel playing? like? What's it feel like to have your face <laughs> <laughs> ripped out of your hands? This whole hands? time I've been like, LOL, I'm glad I wasn't as into Bionicle as <laughs> you guys, because it, it would have sucked. <laughs> But now it's like, oh, revenge. I mean, this is this is why it's fun. It's like uh, I'm not glad Ninjago's bombing, but like it has a positive spin. You know what I mean? Like you can make lemonade out of lemons and make an omelet out of eggs. This is the crappiest make, lemonade ever. You can make a joke out of broken. You can make dreams. omelet it's out like, of lemons. <laughs> Lemon <laughs> omelet. <laughs> Go, good. I want someone to try that. Tell me if it's like even possible, audience. I, I, I mean, I'm don't. sure it's. Think. I like, mean, I'm sure you could have like the essence of lemon <laughs> scenting your uh, your omelet. Yeah, I mean, like, you, 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 you just take a regular like omelet and like just squirt lemon juice in it. You know, mm. like I'm sure it's Yummy. absolutely revolting. But I mean, I I, I I doubt it'd be that bad. Like there there's a lot of combinations it's... of foods that would be terrible. I don't think lemon on your oh, omelet would. Have be you that guys bad. ever had um shrimp with chocolate sauce? Okay, well, there you go. That sounds revolting. <laughs> it's actually way better than you'd think it would Chocolate be. Chocolate shrimp? Disgusting. The shrimp doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like water. It tastes like shrimp. Then why not just eat a <laughs> this is why the ninja cube? This is why the Ninjago movie sucked. It's because you're a trash person and the world's making up for it. <laughs> Why? Chocolate shrimp. <laughs> Seriously, if it just tastes like water, then I could just eat a chocolate-covered ice cube. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could. You could also have like chocolate covered wa wa watermelon. Wa 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 no, because watermelon actually has flavor. How very how <laughs> chocolate wa 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 chocolate wa wa. Can we can we we need to make our own little TTV branded candy now? The the chocolate wa wa. <laughs> wa wa. Chocolate wa wa. Chocolate watermelon. Dude, I hate watermelon with a passion. Yo, watermelon is so like basic. Not to be stereotypical, but yo, I was watermelon gonna say. is great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I wanted to say it, but I didn't want to say it, so I'm glad you said it. Why well, did you uh, want to say it? Whenever I go to visit my grandma, she has like a giant, like just the biggest watermelon I've ever seen in her fridge. Every time it's just fresh, she got it in the market that day, and it's usually gone the next day. And I, every time, I'm like, Is it always this is the you? most? This is this is racist, right? This is just like you were. <laughs> You're, 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 this is a stereotype right here. I mean, yeah. is your grandma... Wait, is your grandma white? Well, I have a, I have a white grandma, yes, but I'm talking okay. about my black grandma. Well, then, oh, okay. how... I mean... My grandma okay. of color. There you go. No, it's like, I used to really love watermelon in my youth, and then 
as the saying goes, I had one bad day, and that was all it took. To, like, we made it. <laughs> well, I'm you just never a super had a villain? good day. <laughs> no, so I, just, I ate a lot of watermelon. Because it's it. like, the whole one bad day thing is about becoming a supervillain, or crazy at least. I'm watermelon man. <laughs> Wall- watermel man. Wa- water- watermel man. <laughs> no, I didn't want to be here before, now I really don't want to be here. The Dread Melonac. Melonac? Melonac? No. Oh, oh, I beat God. one to the punch. <laughs> I, I ate a lot of watermelon, and then incredible. I hated it. That's, that's the end. Story yeah, well, here. I hated well, you. That's the end. I don't think I've ever eaten so much of a food that I've gotten sick of it. Like, I might get bored with it, but I always, like, come back to it. No, like, watermelon, it's serious. It sounds like I'm just, like, hyping it up for the sake of a joke. Literally, like, thinking about watermelon. Like, actively, like, revolts me. I feel That's I, weird. It, it's, just, it's like this mental dissociation thing. That happens, How long like, before Meso pukes on the podcast? Make your bets now. Uh, well, I've got, I can, like, block it out. But, like, if I was I just, like, if you just laid out a plate of watermelon, like, in front of me, maybe. <laughs> like, during a podcast, I have to sit in oh, for man. an hour and, like, look at it. You really don't want, like, like, watermelon that much? What's your problem? It, it's weird. I used to love it, and then one bad day. So, okay, so it was one of those things where you just ate too much of it. That's yes. right. Okay. But, like, I've done that with other foods, and I haven't had this kind of a reaction. I don't I know why it's so weird with watermelon. It up. <laughs> I did that with pizza recently, or not, I guess not that recently, but earlier this year, I, I just could not eat pizza. OD'd uh, on pizza? Huh. Yeah, I guess I OD'd on pizza. I don't know. It was just like, <laughs> I, I remember, like, ordering some pizza one day and trying it. I'm like, this, I feel really gross. I don't yeah. want to eat this anymore. This is awful. I don't enjoy this at all. It's I actually really weird felt that way pizza... about the Brick Fair pizza that we had this year. Pizza is like, usually like my favorite thing ever, and I was like, oh, I don't know. like last year at Brick Fair, I got that we got the New York pizza, and I like hyped it up as the best thing ever. This year we got the exact same pizza, and it didn't do it for me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, um, well, you were hyping everything up at Brick Fair, and nothing did it for me. So, Aww. true enough. It <laughs> 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 could have been that bad, right? You it's were there. <laughs> oh. It wasn't bad, you were, I was the part, there. The you were Here, there. Here's the thing, fun. here's the thing. You're right, it wasn't that bad. But I never <laughs> said it was going to be, you know, not that bad. It was, it wasn't great. And that's how it was always presented, is that Brick Fair is great and amazing and, like, awesome. And then you get there and it's just like, yeah, this is alright. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, the parts you were there for, Purple, were the best parts. So they were the parts where things went the off without a hitch. Like, Gee, DC, thanks. You know? Nice you were there for like I most, pa- most of the same you were, parts. Yeah, the you DC were there for all the same parts. Purple was there. The dinner, for. <laughs> yeah, the DC trip. No, the purple was at the house for the podcast. Oh, uh, well, I mean that was nah. that, that, that wasn't did one of not the best go parts. off without a hitch. We yeah. had like an oh, hour, God. an hour that and was, a half of setup. That was like two hours. Yeah, two hours of pure setup. <laughs> where that we were was not getting fun. everything ready. I two hours. My brother enjoyed that either. Being friends. It was your behind the scenes look at stuff. Yeah. In fact, you were good. there for some parts that Purple wasn't there for that were actually fun, like laser tag. Oh yeah, Purple wasn't there for laser tag. Aww. Yeah. Nope. I am so surprised I didn't puke throughout that laser tag. Same, oh, dude. Right, I what, tore what, my... Why? It was just like, I'd never it done was, it before. Uh, it super I mean, I, I, we, I had a lot of milk. <laughs> and, oh my <laughs> gosh. All that milk. Yep. And what, did uh, someone leave it on the counter? Yep, in a sense. <laughs> yeah, they left it on the counter. And they put it in the fridge. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, the thing I did, like, I did so many, I'm not sure if we mentioned this on the podcast. I think we did. I did a lot of crazy, like, over-the-top acrobatic maneuvers in laser tag, which was You mentioned stupid. this in Road to Brick Fair. It was kind of stupid, but I ended up, like, crippling myself for, like, days. Wow. Like, I do crazy, I mean... like, dodges right under my knees, and it got to the point I could barely stand up. Like, oh my gosh, Russell. I mean... A couple I, years ago when I went, yeah, I spent way too much time <laughs> crouched. My legs were so bad, I could not even get over... I could barely get over a stanchion that was hanging low to the ground. It wasn't even like I crouched, though. It was like I... I did, Yours I was more impact was damage. Though. It was impact, yeah. See, here's the thing about Road to Berkshire <laughs> real quick, while I'm on yeah. this train of thought. I What's don't... Because I want to say something, but I'm not sure if it's going to spoil a part uh, of Road to Berkshire or not. But Because okay. the problem is with Road to Berkshire... I don't really know what's going to appear in the final product until, you know, we yeah. actually edit it. Makes sense. So this, this, this scene I'm thinking of might not show up in it at all. If Who you want to do it uh, and then change your mind, I can always edit it out. I'm just going to do it. 
And I, okay. I have a feeling people are going to forget about it. Anyway, so uh, it, it, there's a vlog that we recorded where you're actually telling the story, like verbatim, where you're like yeah. saying, yeah, I was like, I did some crazy acrobatic flips itself, and I really hurt my back, and oh my gosh. I mean, <laughs> my knees. The, my knees. And uh, Mesa has this thing where he was just constantly complaining or doing something or like yeah. seeing a wimp. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in, in general, yeah. The and walk like, from Whole Foods to Walmart. <laughs> like, I, I constantly almost like tripped into trip. That's so there's great. We we go to save our channel by driving all the way to Brick Fair, <laughs> and literally, I Ben zooms the camera in on my face, and I'm like, "Let's save the channel!" And we all jump out of the car, and immediately, the first thing that happens is oh, Meso going, "Oh, dude, I got the rain in my eye, man! Right in my eye." Are you what in your eye? Rain. It, it was like it was raining really hard and messes it, like really huge r- raindrops. And the first thing that happens after we're like, we gotta save our channel. Is Messa going? Oh, dude, rain! Oh, in my eye! Oh god! <laughs> oh no, dude! Oh no, dude! But the scene in particular that I was thinking of is Messo telling us his story about how he hurt himself uh, during laser tag, and as he's saying it, he's cut off by John, seemingly. Uh, like getting very sick out of nowhere and then it completely goes away so like to describe what that sounded like it was like oh yeah dude i was playing laser track and i was doing some crazy flips and stuff and (laughs) and then silence and and we look over at john and he just he's just going right back to what he was doing as if nothing happened (laughs) hairball I have no yes. to do it. I got no clue. He Those just got Asian he, people eating cats. I tell you, he just got randomly sick for no like out of nowhere, and then it just vanished. And it's like he didn't even notice it. Did he like gag himself or something? It was an out of body experience. Honestly. It was. It was really weird. Like, was he brushing his teeth on the way and just stepped out and swallowed like, the toothbrush? I forget, <laughs> I forget what we were doing. I think we were trying to prep, like, uh, like a movie or a TV show to watch or something. And he was, like, on, he was, like, on the laptop. Did he like, swallow the remote control? <laughs> he was on the laptop going through things. And he just went, <laughs> and then went right back to, 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 like, looking straight at the computer as if nothing had happened. We all looked at him, and he just, he just kept on going. Um, must have seen some Messinac fan art or something. <laughs> it was it was like it was weird like if you watch the video which I'm, I'm sure it's going to appear at some point but Messer was just like he Messer goes from being like like really happy with a giant stupid smile on his face to like super concerned <laughs> midway through <laughs> it, was, I can't, it, was, it was great dude. I can't wait for the two seconds I'll be in one of those videos oh, yeah you, uh, you don't really appear much I'll, I'll oh. be honest Rip my ever-loving There must be some life. DC footage. There, okay, there is definitely there. We have footage of you first appearing when you first when we first meet you. Well, yeah, Richard. that's about the only thing I expect to show up. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, I honestly don't think you're gonna show up in anywhere else. Maybe what about uh, all that like DC, DC stuff where yeah, we're like doing, doing crazy stories. But even then, the most of the, the the parts that we actually recorded the most of was after he left, like after we yeah, were at the museums true. and stuff. Rip Takuma. So. Never forget AT and T. You're there in spirit. AT and T. It's such a great nickname. AT and T. Are you okay? Very probably you recovered. Yeah, I'm. F- I'm fine. I was yeah. honestly not expecting to laugh that hard. You know, it, was, it was really funny. I'm it was so heard it sh- we cursed so much in that clip because we were like, "What the? Just half? <laughs> what are, are you? Are, are you okay?" <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, like, he was just like, oh. seven, where Parker gets possessed by the devil. And <laughs> <laughs> and like, That's what it was like. A... The fact that he just kept on going as if nothing happened. Just, it was like, <laughs> are, are you, are you okay? Are you going to like puke? Or do we need to get something for you? It he was, was like, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just, I'm no, fine, I just, dude. I just, I just got really sick all of a sudden, and it just, <laughs> it just went right away. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hopefully so it shows weird. up. Isn't Hopefully it? Hopefully it shows up. Uh, if it doesn't, at least we had this podcast story. We have got some great, great videos from that trip. That's the one thing I will say about Brick Fair is that some of the vlogs we took that it will likely show up in Road to Brick Fair are so stupidly hilarious. 
Like Messer oh, nearly yeah. killing me at one point. I hope, there's like, I hope there's setup for that. Like I hope we we can explain what exactly I was doing using there the is. podcast. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. We don't even need to because keep in mind we did interviews for that. Show. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I just forgot if Vin asked me about that or not. He did. Cool. So it, that'll cool. show up for sure. I'm amazed by like how funny the first three have been from being like pre brick fair. Like some crazy stuff happened with the Ninjago set. <laughs> yeah. And like that, that was a very edited version of it too. Like, we we visited so many different stores trying to find those stupid Ninjago sets, and yeah, we just did not have any luck at all. The one time, time, the one time we finally found something, we couldn't even get it. It's hilarious. Rip. And it's like I don't think uh, what the one thing that Road to Brickford doesn't convey very well is how like time intensive it was to find one. Yeah, because you, like, you speed up the driving portions, or you just yeah. cut them out entirely, but, like... Well, because, like, also the context is missing, too. Like, uh, the whole, the literally the entire reason that John and Vin are there at my house is so that we could get some reviews done before Brick Fair starts. So we only have, like, four days to do some reviews before Brick Fair, and when we got there, we were expecting Ninjago to be out by now, because usually, no. you know, Lego sets are out, <coughs> like, a week or a couple of days before the release date. Um, Brick Fair is August 1st, which is the release date of Ninjago, right? So we were hoping that it would come out just a couple of days early so we could get reviews done, and ev as every day goes by that we we can't get any sets, it's like, oh, uh, we're wasting money. As with all things Ninjago movie, a disappointment. Indeed. Oh my kind god, it was an omen. It was. Maybe. It was kind of a bummer. Um, but... It all worked out. You guys got some Nexo Knight sets. Those are always cool. <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah. You, you can check out those reviews right now by, oh, never mind. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Nope. Okay. Well, that was a fun walk down memory lane. <laughs> yeah. That's all going to work. Yeah. Yep. Oh so what else cute. is going down, guys? Anything interesting been happening with you? I got I free pizza at school today. It was like, sort of like an ice cream social, except it was pizza. So I got pizza, and then I ran the heck out of there. So there was no social. Nope. <laughs> the tough crust pizza that you bought for free pizza. Yes, that... Thanks. <laughs> wow. Was it tough crust pizza? <laughs> it was just... It had a crust. I think that's just Purple's nickname at school. Hey, look, here comes Tough, tough crust. crust Pizza. What? Why would uh, that be can't. a nickname? They invited Tough know. Crust. Oh. Oh. I just. Oh. I, I, why, why, why Tough Crust? What, like, what the. What? Because you're tough, Purple. It's a compliment. Yeah. But you're also crusty, yeah. whatever that means. Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know oh, what that boy. means, but it sounds nasty. Yeah, it does. Wyden asks, did the pizza have pineapple on it? Yes or no? No, I wish that would have made it interesting. As I said about you being a trash person. <laughs> you know Only what? You better mean... get a dumpster, because there's two trash people here that need to go in there. <laughs> Do you like pineapple, too? Pineapple is life. Oh, no! Uh, on, pineapple. I like pineapples. Pineapple yeah, completely good. ruins pizza for me. See, I, just... I have no opinion. I've never had it. Only because I never get anything other than like pepperoni. That's well, it's it's like to... sweet, right? I don't want... Pineapple don't isn't want... sweet. It's sour. It is... Okay. You know what he means? Yeah. It's both. It's a different it's flavor. Both. Combo. It's pretty both. It's not savory, that's for sure. And I always expect pizza to be savory. It just It's a, it's a flavor... It's savory, even. I hear people say it all the time, but like, I never... Quality. Know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> wow. It's like a... It's, I mean, it's kind of like the, the, the taste that you would use to describe, like, most meats. Um, you know, like, the, you got sweet like, if you go to candy. You've got sour also if you go to candy. But, like, there's bitter. Like, you, you know what bitter tastes like. Uh, some, like, dark chocolate yeah. or some coffee or something. Yeah. And savory is more of, like, a, like, if you were to eat just, like, a straight up, like, pepperoni. The feeling. Pepperoni. The, the feeling that you would have by eating that pepperoni is what I would describe as savory. I, okay, I think I know what you mean. Even I'm all about oh, yeah. that savory. So, <laughs> an aromatic, often spicy course or dish served either as an app. I mean, there, yeah, uh, there's different definitions. One it literally just says pleasant or agreeable taste or smell. Yeah, it's but stupid. the general consensus seems to be, you know, salty, spicy, you know, not yeah, something yeah. sweet or dessertish. It's okay. yeah, it's got like a, it's like a salty, 
spiciness. I think the word, the aromatic word, is a very interesting word to describe it. It kind of has like a, an, I don't know, like a, a presence, an essence almost. <laughs> that it adds. Food has like more of a, a presence than I do. Getting no, that's true. <laughs> getting like getting a steak is very a uh, very savory experience. Never had a steak. I hate steak. Right, so can we just get two separate garbage cans instead yeah. of one dumpster? I not forgot I'm dealing a, with children. Not eating a steak in my life was a mistake. Excuse me. Oh my god, mess Youngin. <laughs> boy. Boy. What up? What up, old man? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm, I'm calling everybody else children, Takuma. I'm saying that we are the only adults here. <laughs> right, I'm just confused now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you got your. I had a terrible pizza. day at work. Oh, uh, tell us more. What's that? Tell us more. <laughs> Let's see. First, I got to work, you know, around uh, quarter to eight, like I usually do. Had breakfast. I, I, I've, I've joined that group of people who eats breakfast at their desk now. The Breakfast Be- Club. <laughs> sure. We gotta watch that movie at some point. <laughs> Wait, what? Is it even about like a video? It's about a. Uh, it's about no, The Breakfast Club. It's a movie. Are we talking about like a club sandwich you eat for breakfast or a no, club that beat people? Oh, like you just show up at breakfast with a club and just beat each other to pulp and whoever's <laughs> left standing gets to eat? I like that option. No, it, it's about for, like for a group. It's about a group of teenagers who just have detention together. That's literally it. The, 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 the no, premise of the movie. No, that sounds really lame. No, the premise of the movie is that they're all a bunch of different kids. Like you've got like kids from completely different backgrounds of the school. Like the jock guy who, you know, is really into sports and then like the kind of weird nerdy goth girl that's yeah. really like antisocial and odd and then like the pretty popular girl uh the nerd so all, all these guys are combining together because they all got detention and, like at one but point. where's the breakfast involved i don't know where the tile comes from i assume it's because they have to get there early just to serve their detention and they're stuck in detention so it's like at breakfast time and it's like a club because they're all together lame we need to make the club cinematic universe. Fight club. Breakfast club. It's like... Yeah, it, it it's, a, it's a really chill movie, though. Like, it's, you know, it doesn't require a lot of thought to enjoy. Mm. Nice. So anyway, I ate breakfast. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it was work as normal <laughs> until about 11 o'clock. That's when everything was different than every other day. See, the first thing we had to do was we had to uh, get ourselves a, a lift, you know, like an Uber, but it's the other one. <laughs> that, which took us down to the river where we got on a paddle boat. And we got, mm-hmm. and we were on the paddle boat and it traveled a little, it traveled down the river and up the river and we got some drinks and we had a box lunch. But why? Because it was our summer outing. Wait, what? <laughs> it was we, summer outing. It, it was the IT. It was the IT uh, group's summer outing. Oh, okay. So it was, it was this. It was this horrible day at work where we had to go outside and eat food and drink drinks. No, oh, I, just, I get it. You're being sarcastic. Yes. I see. <laughs> that sounds... You actually had a fun time. And then after that, well, you see, the thing is, we were after that, we were supposed to go to Brit's Pub to do lawn bowling, but it's, like, raining, so we didn't end up doing lawn bowling. Lawn so, bowling. Lawn bowling. You're not familiar with lawn bowling? I'm not familiar with lawn bowling. Are you familiar yes. with... Are, are, you familiar, are you familiar with bocce ball? Huh? Hibachi you botch ball? the ball? Not, not hibachi ball, just bocce ball. <laughs> hibachi grill? No, bocce okay. ball. Like that. Bocce ball. The, the hibachi you bocce bought ball? a ball? <laughs> bocce no, I'm ball. Not, I'm not familiar. <laughs> I'm not familiar Why are you buying my ball? <laughs> Can I have it back, please? No. <laughs> you don't need that many. <laughs> Fair enough. What is bocce ball? Okay, basic concept of okay. So bocce ball is you ta- you have uh one small ball that's uh I don't know, a little bit bigger than a ping pong ball called the palino, I believe it's pronounced, and someone just tosses that out, and then you have other people like you know maybe up to four people. They each hold on to these like 
uh, bigger colored balls, kind of heavy. They're made like out of a big chunk of plastic or whatever. The set we have is like that. And the basic concept of the game is that you take turns tossing one of your balls out to try and get as close to the small ball as possible. Okay? That sounds really stupid. Lawn bowling is like that, except the balls are bigger and you can't like toss them or loft them in the air or anything like that. You have to straight up just roll them across the ground like you're bowling. But we didn't do that. I'm Purple, waiting for the you... moment when this story gets interesting. <laughs> we Well, since it was raining, we went inside and we drank more drinks and we ate food and played billiards. That game sounds what? stupid. So I'd rather play Call of Duty. Good, good to know. And then I rushed home so I can make it on the frickin' podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even packed for tomorrow yet. Your sacrifice <laughs> was... Tomorrow. And I'm Complete. leaving in the morning. I'm sorry, Takuma. This Where are you story going? is interesting. Well, contrary to Purple's belief, I'm not getting married. <laughs> no. What, yeah, that, what are you waiting all... on, man? <laughs> um, a girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of important, huh? <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of hard to. It's like bacon I mean, and cake without eggs. I could go to Japan and marry a you know a uh, video game character. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you can go to Japan to do that. Yeah, I think people have done that here. Maybe. Uh, really? I'm not aware of it. You gotta be joking. Then. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I'm just pulling that out of my butt, to be honest. No, I I'm, no, I'm, I'm not getting married, Purple. No. You, you guys, I imagine you guys would at least know I had a girlfriend at some point, other than eight years Brag ago. about it. If you guys okay. ever got a girlfriend, we well, no, okay, okay. okay. I would totally we're, keep it we a secret. We, we were talking about this before the podcast, and Purple's all like, oh, you've at least had one girlfriend. I haven't even had a boyfriend. I'm like, yeah, but what about the age difference between us? And Purple says the age difference between us is one girlfriend. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What? Wait, uh, wait, wait, she like, wait, 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 wait a minute! What? Is she, no, no, it's not like is she, that. What? Is she implying that I'm old enough to be her father? Is that what's no. going on here? I mean, like, maybe. Oh, is like she country. implying that no. the girlfriend is like four years old? Yeah. No, there's not a four-year age gap between us. I it's mean, like almost ten years. Which yeah. Is still Does that really weird. make it better? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, really it's not like to... that. Second of all, I thought he said... Maybe you can to... date up the difference, but there's no way I'm dating down the... Or, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, wait. I don't, no, like, still... like no, don't, don't want to know what this conversation is turning into right now. No, anyway, I thought you meant what's the difference just between us in d- general. And you're like, oh, I one said, girlfriend. I what's the age difference? And you're like, I one girlfriend. I didn't hear that at first. I just I still don't understand what you meant though by your original statement. I mean, it's just like a the joke. difference between the difference between her and me is that I've had a girlfriend and she's never had a boyfriend. So she was saying the difference between us is the girlfriend, you know, or in other words, the relationship. Wait, well, how did age get mixed up into this then? Because I asked, "What's the age difference between us?" She didn't hear the age; she just heard, "What's oh. the difference?" Gotcha. I said, what's the age difference? She's like, one girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the point you were getting like like This is how I'm talking to talk now, y'all. <laughs> yes. Only on some occasions. <laughs> like what? Do it right now. Do your best country voice. I'll I can't you. do it Purple, you actually, It's you completely weirdly, on. What? I don't, I don't know why you do it, because you're not even in the, the, the South, but like you weirdly start going talking in a country <laughs> accent at random I, I, times. I honestly don't know why I do it. It's, like, not intentional, and I can't even, like, actually do a southern accent intentionally. Yeah, so, I mean, it's like you randomly do it, and you don't realize it, and I'm like, you are, why are you speaking in a southern accent right now? And you don't I even live right you next to, like, farmland or something. I grew up in the discount kind of south. I mean, like, right there, you almost heard it. Like, I kind of grew up next to farmland. 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 You, farmland. you have like, the same degree of southern accent as I do, where it sometimes slips through in like the ahs. And it's the like ees. southern puberty or something when your voice what? cracks. <laughs> That's it's right. just, instead of, <laughs> <laughs> instead, of cra- instead of getting a high crack, you get a southern crack. Wow. I mean, ain't just... nothing like that southern crack. Ain't that right, Nessa? <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, boy. What is this? <laughs> I think you okay. mean, uh... Powdered milk. <laughs> Powdered <Yeah>. milk. <laughs> <laughs> what yes. is that supposed to mean? Take I'm so guess. lost. Well, Takuma, if you don't get it, uh, we'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> I'm older than you. Isn't Not that mentally. The, that's the biggest shame here. <sighs> oh boy. Well, 
<laughs> okay. And Purple, there's sure only one here. thing to do. Don't do drugs, kids. Okay, there's yeah, two so things like to do. One thing to do, not that. <laughs> there's two things to do. You need to find me a girlfriend, I need to find you a boyfriend. Oh boy, uh, match me. The trade off. I, I, I don't, I, I'm sure what? this will go spectacularly. Nothing this sounds could like I really don't know anyone even remotely close to your age to come. I think the closest person I know to your age is wow. my mom. This, wow. This I don't sounds... know anyone close to your age. Why don't you just run down to the old folks' home already? Jeez. I mean, I, my grandma's already married too, but... I said the old folks' home. The plural was implied. <laughs> Not Dang. just your old folk. Boy. Yeah, right. You really gotta pay attention next time, jeez. I have I still don't understand what he was trying to get at. I don't either. <laughs> I don't understand. Anyways, the reason I'm going to... <laughs> up north is not to get married. It's for Thanksgiving. <gasps> oh it's... no, that's coming up. It's just October. It's uh... I'm missing something. It's 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 not just coming up, it's it's here it's here for me. Mm-hmm. Isn't it a little early? Okay, so <laughs> the reason <laughs> Reason no, for this is, is no, 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 no. It's not that exciting. Okay. The, the the reason being is that my grandparents on my dad's side always used to go down to Arizona every fall in order to get away from the cold. So they would always leave in like September or October, long before Thanksgiving. But at least we still wanted to do family Thanksgiving, so we would always get together at my uncle's place up on Lake Superior and have family Thanksgiving early together. I see. And it's great, because when you have Thanksgiving early, you can have Thanksgiving again on Thanksgiving. I get two Thanksgivings. Well, hey, congrats. And this is why I'm so, you know, uh, fat. Yes. Yes. (laughs) All 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 130 pounds of me. (laughs) Uh, Nice. (laughs) Well, that's Skinny people. Oh, I can (laughs) taste those candied yams already. What's your favorite Mm. Thanksgiving guy? Candied Candied yams. yams. Yams have you ever? Nasty. I mean, have you ever had yes. candy when yams? When you say it like that, yeah. Nasty. Yams are nasty. Those yams. yams are nasty, y'all. 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 I've never heard you say what y'all before, Purple. That's the one thing I will give you. Y'all. Yeah. No, y'all. I, I like write it all the time, but I, I don't that's really say. That's true. That's true. No, that's true. And I remember. Yeah, you do write it. <laughs> never mind. I take back what I said. You do say y'all. <laughs> Crap, man. You really do have the southern thing going. That's really weird. I'm like a discount southern. Is there any reason why? Discount southern? Uh, why I say y'all? No, just like the southern thing. I, Are, I don't really know. Is your mom southern You just southern have a bunch all? of southern no. friends. Uh, where, Maybe weird. Like, where would that come from? from then? I don't know. I very briefly grew up near farms and stuff, but like, that I mean, was it. The South isn't just farms, so. No, oh, farmer accent. It's not like you grew. Okay, you grew up new far, near your farm. Farms like where? Like actually down south? No. Because like. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are you even mentioning? <laughs> that? I grew up. I grew. I grew up next to. Uh, I grew up next to you know the nearby high school, and I don't talk like a pothead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, like a great it's one. not ju- it's not just the type of area, yeah, you, you know. Like some of the ideas I come up with, maybe, but I don't. Talk <laughs> nice. Wow. It's 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 not like you catch southern from the dirt. Okay. Oh. Well, then I have even less of an idea as to why I talk southern. Is that sometimes. like some sort of weird form of mono? All right, guys. Yes. You, you, like, you like catch an accent from I don't know eating food. Totally. Nice. Who's building Legos? That's me, dude. Aww. What are you building? I'm opening up my nut, my next pack. You hear that? Oh, hey, hey, ASMR, cut it out. Starting, a, you, starting my what? ASMR channel. What are you building? Uh, right now, I'm building the green mech dragon again. Nice. Again? Yeah, again, because our original footage of it was uh, terrible. I say. Oh, yeah. I forget. Did I talk last time I was on the podcast about the book I got? No, I don't remember. No, it, so. When was the last time you were on the podcast? I don't remember. Um, weeks. two weeks. The one I was on, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Nah. You've been on every other one I have since ever since the schedule. Yeah, I, I, I've Purple noticed too. this real quick before you talk about your book. The interesting thing with our schedule, it like it does follow a template, like for Brickfeed this it week. Does. I I hosted Brickfeed and like Vin. 
purple, and envy. And then last week's TTV that's going to come out was the same crew just swapped out with me with John. Right. I mean, <laughs> well, because like... the thing is, certain people are available during certain time intervals. Yeah, it's... So, like, yeah. you're, you're going to have similar casting. I, I'm, I'm trying to vary it up as much as possible. For instance, I wasn't it's supposed difficult. to be here to, today. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, it was going to be different. But, alas, that yep. is, uh, that's just the, the nature of the game. So, like, blame, yeah. blame the internationals. <laughs> Seriously, they are so hard to work with. The non-Americans. Is that racist? <laughs> it's like, it's like is scheduling. I mean, that's what they a, are. I think scheduling is just a foreign concept. <laughs> no, but for real, it's like they've never seen a calendar before in their lives. It's really, really weird. Like, I, X was convinced that Brickfeed was today somehow, despite literally being <laughs> on Brickfeed yesterday. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't there, unfortunately. Oh, he wasn't? Oh, well, he right. was listening in. Okay. Yeah, he also wasn't there for that. <laughs> so, it's anyway. like, it's really, it's really confusing. I don't... Uh, scheduling those foreigners are hard, is hard. Yeah. Either way, Takuma, what book did you get? Yeah, so I won't talk necessarily about the contents of the book because we already decided this might be kind of neat to talk about on Brickfeed. Like, I might actually show up on Brickfeed one day. How weird <gasps> is that? Oh, it's that book. <clears throat> yep. So, uh, again, I don't remember if I've mentioned this on the pad, pad ca- podcast. <laughs> I haven't mentioned this on the podcast before, <laughs> but you see. Do a whole podcast in that voice. Uh, <laughs> but somebody already asked me to do an OBW. I can do both. Oh no! So about Please one day, the most happy of the above of our couple. Not again! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Roll it back. Roll Not again. it back. So you got a book. Okay, so uh, turns out CEO of the company where I work is also like a big Lego enthusiast, and I mean big as in. Oh, really I the, have heard this story. Yeah, big as not big. Not I mean he's not fat. <laughs> he's enthusiast. <laughs> Anyways, so um, <laughs> it sounded like you cursed for a second there. I heard that. Too. What? Wait, what? What did say? He said big as in, but the as. I said he wasn't He's... fat. <laughs> I know, I know. It was really funny Great. knowing that you don't. Because I don't curse. have another. Okay, tangent. The number of times people in the YouTube comments say such and so person oh said a bad word here. They've said it about me. They've said it about Purple. <laughs> me. They've said it about Meso. John. They probably said it about everyone at some point. Literally, like, 100% of the time, it's not right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just yeah, always I'm sounds s- like it. <laughs> it's like, no. I said, yeah, sure. You betcha. Not <laughs> whatever you were thinking. Anyways, that, so that was a sidetrack. Anyways, so uh, was it last month or it might have been two months ago at this point? Uh, currently, my desktop computer... My uh, not desktop wallpaper. My computer wallpaper at work is that uh, picture outside of the Lincoln Memorial with all the minifigures lined up. Yeah. yeah. And so we had a big company meeting, and my computer is facing right towards that part of the office where everyone is gathered. You know, it's <laughs> the, the office is all wide open. Only three people have like their own offices. So right after the monthly company meeting was over the ceo comes over to my desk totally starts just geeking out with me about lego that's pretty cool and telling me how cool it was he's like oh man where was that you know were you really out there for that and pointing the picture and so that was totally cool you know because like i'm like the only apparently i'm like the only other guy he knows about who's into lego that's awesome Boy, and you um probably use yeah. the internet more um <laughs> uh, well as in person Oh, yeah. yeah, like a lot of people, he didn't realize that there's like a lot of Lego conventions out there. Like not just Brick Fair, but Brick Fest, Brick Fiesta, Brick World, Brick, you know, all the bricks. Um, <laughs> yeah, and even just like, I don't remember, it was a whole le- week later, just it's, it's in the middle of the day while I'm just, you know, I'm just typing away, I'm just writing code. He comes over and stops me in the middle of what he's doing to show me some cool Lego stop motion videos he found. And I'm like, oh, I got to show you this. I show, got to show you. Have you, you guys seen the, the paint one? No, the I paint can't. See. One, to I be honest, believe- the- I don't like stop motion videos, so no, I haven't seen this it. one's. This one's really cool. I'll have to link you to it. But yeah, it's a, it's a Lego stop motion video where this guy's like painting the simple artwork, but it's really cool. So I pulled that up and I was showing him, and yeah, so and that was kind of it for a while. And then 
like um uh was it one week ago or two weeks ago i don't remember he stops by my desk in the middle of me working again and he just plops his book down on my desk and it's he's like i was out i don't even remember exactly what it was he said i don't know if he was even looking for the book specifically or he just happened to find it while he was out one day but he found mm-hmm. this book called lego and philosophy Hmm. And he, he was like, he was picking up a copy because he thought it looked interesting. And then he's like, I know a guy who's into Lego. Apparently, the only other guy he knows. So he picked up an extra copy for me. Aww. That's really this, cool. This, yeah. It's like super awesome. The CEO just bought, buys me a random gift. Man, so I've been I wish reading my through boss that. bought me gifts. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, fair Wait. Ball. Purple. <laughs> I'll, 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 one of your bosses buys you gifts all the time. Yeah, hit, oh, hit, snap. Hit, oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot he's like a boss. I just got started editing bar- the latest oh, TTV episode, oh. finally. And during it, I was like, oh, boy. Because like, there's another gift that I didn't know about. It's well, pretty ludicrous. It was, honestly, every time I talk to you, it seems like there's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. on sale, okay? He wouldn't have yeah. got it otherwise. Uh-huh. What did it end Whatever. up being? Out of curiosity. Oh, it was uh, the making of the Ninjago movie book. So like a bunch ah. of concept art and stuff. Yeah. Didn't he buy you like a, a frappuccino or something to? Or <laughs> he bought me a frappuccino. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, about time. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah. it was specifically targeted at Purple though. He bought it to me and then like tweeted it out to Purple, being like, <laughs> "Ha, got him a frappe or whatever." So yeah. it's talking about John, by the way, in case anyone's confused. Yes. Though. Oh yeah. So anyway, I've been reading that book on my way home on the train most days, so... That's yeah. cool. It's a... Uh, and, you know, it's like, I was looking at the book, and I'm looking at the title, and kind of what it's like, okay, you know, it's like, I feel like there's some interesting stuff in here, but is there really going to be anything, like, new, or, you know, like, I'll probably be reading through it and going, yeah, that's interesting, but, you know, kind of in that I probably already know this kind of feeling, because, I mean... Right. Yeah, we're yeah. we're pretty ingrained. We we know what's what with like. It was like that with brick by brick, where like it was a cool book, but I knew a lot of the stuff in it already. Um, hmm. but so far it's actually been pretty interesting. Uh, just a really interesting concepts going around in there, and at at times it almost seems like uh, the Lego Movie in philosophy, not just Lego in philosophy, because <laughs> it's yeah, there's quite a bit in there about the uh, Lego Movie. Like there's even part of it, part of it goes into like rules and moral rules versus conventional rules and there's like this whole analysis of the man upstairs from the Lego movie and talking about that mm. um so yeah there's actually there's definitely some interesting concepts in there um I'm not that far through the book yet but I'm really looking forward to seeing where all it goes right. I um, demand that you be on brick feed to discuss it yeah I will Must. totally do that at some point uh what's actually kind of interesting is so it's not just like one author wrote this whole book it's actually like a it's almost like the book is a collection of essays written by different people. Oh. And it was actually kind of interesting because I was looking through the names of some of these people. And one of the guys who wrote part of this book actually is a professor at the community college where my graduation ceremony was. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. And also, That's and cool. yeah, my little, my little brother went there for PSEO last year. My sister's going there right now for... Uh, whatever classes she's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, so it's, that was it's, it was kind of interesting that one of the people who wrote this book is literally works like three miles away from me. Just like stop by and say hi, get an interview. <laughs> yeah, you know, finding Lego people out in the wild is a it's a very fascinating thing, very cool experience. Um, who aren't like literal children, like yeah, right, under yeah, yeah, ten. Yeah, uh, cause like, uh, I don't know if anybody, um, I don't think we've ever talked about it before. We actually, uh, met with, uh, Matthew K. If anybody in our audience is, uh, watches the Lego YouTube channel Beyond the Brick, they might be familiar with that name. Uh, Matthew K is not, not with the, uh, that channel anymore, but if you did follow that, then you probably recognize Matthew K. He actually, uh, he was at the fan meetup that John went to a couple weeks ago. They, they met there. Ooh. Turns out. He lives in Raleigh, North Carolina, and has lived there his entire life. Spoiler alert, that's Which what is Lawrence. what, like... Uh, which is where I live as well, yeah. So, it was it was really cool. John was over here, and we uh, went and met up with Matthew Kane and just hung out for, like, all, all day, and it was really cool. 
But it, it's just, it's really interesting meeting people, like, I don't know, just in the wild. That's, uh, <laughs> you, you, you never really realize how small of a world it is until, you know, it, it, it happens. And it's like, wow. Turns out there's a giant, like, Lego lug here, too. And there's a the Lego convention that's hosted here in Raleigh. There's a lot of Lego people here. I love stuff like that because yeah. it does, like, sometimes I forget how widespread Lego actually is. And I think the reason, I think that is because I've been so long as a Bionicle fan. And I'm used to being, like, super niche. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Lego itself is really popular, you know. Otherwise, right. it wouldn't be rolling in the dough like it is. Um, so it's yeah, always it's nice interesting. to see it in the widespread world. It's just, yeah. it's really cool talking with people, like, AFOLs, out, outside of the internet, too. And, like, I was going to say, that's, that's part of the reason Strange Trust is because most of our interaction is online, not yeah. face-to-face. Yeah. And it's so much better, too. It's just so much more exciting because you can, like, it, it's cool to joke about, like, s- silly things like Bionicle being canceled, right? And <laughs> someone in, in real life doesn't just turn their head and goes, huh? What, yeah. yeah, exactly. Ba- 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 Bionicle? Bionicle? <laughs> Bionicle's that? back? They brought or it like, back? <laughs> even in these days when you're just in random places on the internet and you get those people who are like, oh, yeah, I remember those those Bionicles when I was a little kid. Oh, man, those were so cool. And they, they really they have back. no idea that there was a G2 that's already come and gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so tragic. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool story. Yeah. So it's just, yeah, it's really cool. I think that the, definitely kind of describes our first interactions at Brick Fair, too. The very first year we went, it was like it was really... You know, just exciting being surrounded by all the people who got it. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, that was oh, yeah. how I was like when I first went to like Brick World in Chicago or whatever. It was just like all these like non five year olds who like Lego, and it's like, mm-hmm. wow, I don't feel so awkward right now. It's incredible. Yeah, I it's... found my people. <laughs> yeah. Very, very cool experience. I definitely recommend anybody out there to try out the Lego conventions if you haven't already when you get a chance. It's, I, I personally don't think it's like a thing that you need to do every year like we did with Brook Fair. But uh, I think. <laughs> all two years? All two. I mean, yeah, it's like after two years, it's like I already got the experience. But like the one year, I think it's definitely worth showing up for and like meeting new people. It's really cool. I'm just an it, introverted person. It, it, it makes a difference too in what kind of people you're going with. Because, yeah, last That's time true. was my was my, uh, was my third or fourth Brick Fair. Third. Yeah. But it's like. I could still see myself going back again next year easily, you know, so long as I've got people there to hang out with. Right, right. That's true. Makes sense to me. It all depends on whether or not you have the right crowd, the right friends, the right, you know, sort of antics going on. Well, it also helps if you're willing to, you know, kind of break your comfort zone and talk to people, too. Because, like, yeah, you know, totally. Uh, it would have been way less cool if I went to Brook Fair and then, like, didn't talk with all the other people at the Bionicle booths and everything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, even my first Brick Fair was almost like a, you could say, like, a coming-of-age sort of deal for me, because I'd never really gone anywhere away from home on my, you know, just kind of struck out on my own before. Sure, I had my cousin with me, and I was meeting up with other people, but these were people that, you know, I hadn't really met before. It's not like I'd ever taken a vacation without my parents before. Totally. Um, no, so was NYECC was that that for me. Oh back, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. You're right. That was that was definitely that was a big an eye deal. opener for sure. <laughs> I yeah. learned a lot about stuff. But... It's yeah. like I've never paid for a hotel before. This is new. <laughs> this is this is interesting. This is oh, I'm all grown up now. I think well for that one it was just like the camaraderie and because uh, for that I just to remind people because it's been a while now. For that, we were all invited to a Lego store where they, you know, launched Bionicle for the first time. Yes, I remember that story. You guys were like, the Lego employees were like, oh, you can keep whatever you build and everyone's face just lit off. There were just like bins of Bionicle parts. And keep in mind, this was before Bionicle had even like been unveiled officially. You know, like no one knew what the sets really looked like or when we would get them. And here we are in this room, it's surrounded by the new Bionicle pieces, and they, everybody in the, and the Lego guys are just like, hey, build whatever you want, you get to keep whatever you build. And it was like, whoa! And that entire hype room lit up. critical mass. Yeah, that the hype train crashed through its destination and kept <laughs> going at that point. Um, and it's just, like, the, the the amount of friendship and camaraderie in that room was really awesome, because you would, like, build your mock and be like, hey, uh, you guys seen this piece at all? And someone else across the room would be like, oh, yeah, I got two hey, over here. 
Yeah, and it, it like people would be swapping parts and everything, and like helping each other find other stuff, and just like if it was, was the fantastic. whole world can be like that. It it was so it much fun. It was so. That, cool. That's what we were saying afterwards. It was like all the bionicle community stuff that goes on. If only it could just be boiled down to what was in that room. If at only that yeah. Time. If only what? that was how it actually was on the internet. Instead, you mm-hmm. get this really gross, toxic community all the time. It's terrible. Yeah. The like, online bionicle community is awful. Uh, yeah. yeah, even kind of like on a similar note, it's like I miss the I miss that first like couple weeks when Overwatch was launched, when everyone was just having a blast. Nobody was getting super upset about. I mean, sure, Bastion was getting play of the game every game, but <laughs> you, didn't have people getting, you didn't have people getting mad about the balance, what was strong, what was stupid. You know, everyone was just having fun. You could walk up to somebody in the middle of a match and just wave high, and it would just be like instantly two people stop fighting for like three seconds, just walk past each other. And back when back Tracer actually had fifty more HP. I don't think she ever did. No, no, she she's totally always been did. 150. She's I always been maybe back in did. beta she didn't have 150, but ever since launch that hasn't changed. Yeah, no, it was. Tracer it was needs a boost. A but yeah, getting off topic. But yeah, just there was that camaraderie. It was just hey, we're all just here to have fun. Yeah. Nobody was taking things too seriously. Yeah. Totally right. If only we could make the whole world like that. Exactly. If only. If only. Screw you, Pepsi and Coca Cola. TTV is gonna teach the world to sing. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody got it. along then it would ruin the appeal we need to have what? like the, it the would conflict. ruin the appeal <laughs> it <appeals laughs> well, it's like it's stale you know it's like, it's like the Incredibles everyone's super no and one everyone's is. happy <laughs> no, no one's happy, happy. That, is, yeah. that statement is honestly one of the truest things I have ever yeah. heard in my like, life like the standard of happiness changes and so everyone would just like Anything less than being happy or the standard would be meh, and no one would really feel happy because you'd have to feel like extra happy. Yep. Yeah. Well. I'll give Oka Tamer in the chat classic mess up. <laughs> what was classic about that? Have I, have I done that stuff before? Said be a pessimist, things. yeah. Dude, you're a pessimist oh, that, all the time. It's a little, I've, that I've was your shtick. No, 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 no. You were like the You were like the definition of the toxicity. Well, Number one, <laughs> no, I was a skeptic realist. You were Number toxic. two, you were toxic that's what as heck. Number two, I've dropped it. <laughs> Meso mean, was that... so toxic, they precognitively made a Hero Factory set of them. Sins of the past, buddy, sins of the past. <laughs> Meso was so like... toxic that Britney Spears ripped him off. <laughs> 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 that's a good but song. I like, the, I like that I song. like the Ninja oh, Ghost. I yeah, I, what? No, that's a great song. It's a horrible never song. It. It's a great song. I actually it's made a Bionicle Music song. parody of that. That, that, that never got oh, released. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. That is almost as bad as, as me making High School Musical Bionicle Music videos. It was uh, It was the one that love, love Not Being Canon and everything. Sing, sing it right now. Sing I, it I don't remember the words, dude. Uh, um, I, I would, yeah, I don't remember. I would end up just singing the actual thing. It was... Yeah, I've heard you sing that before. Yeah, I don't remember the words though. So oh. it, it was a good parody. We were going to release it on Valentine's Day, and it never, just never got done. Oh. Can we talk about the success of Ninja Flow? Do what? Yeah. Can we talk about the success of Ninja Flow? Oh yeah, it's about, just, uh, it's a very uh, it's a surprise hit. Actually, let me check right now because I think as of right now, Ninja Flow has probably surpassed. The last Bionicle music parody in views, which is in- my, my mic cut out, which is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, like I, it, it, views views are obviously really important to a YouTube channel, right? And that's a big thing. But like, um, I don't know. It's it's really cool to look at. A parody right and see it get a, getting a certain amount of traction the parodies have always been fairly popular with people but then it's a whole other level when you're where you make your your own song entirely and that actually performs better than the the, the last video you made that was piggybacking off of someone else's content right this one mm-hmm. was like something that you know we we did completely originally and it actually ended up getting more views and that's just uh that's really special that's really cool um it's pretty great I still so. say we need to do a Christmas album. Oh, I still say we need to make Mad- make Vanda. So. Yeah. People, yeah, people have been uh, digging Ninja Flow, um, which is really cool. It was kind of a it's kind of a test of sorts um, to see if there's any interest in that. Lo and behold, there is. So High Affinity <laughs> will definitely be making more music. 
for the channel. Yay. Um, I wish so I could make music because it seems like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's a lot of fun. It's I a just lot wish of uh, I sing. I mean, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, uh, it's been a, it's been really cool. I'm, I'm super happy that people liked it. So. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, we're we're gonna be nearing the end here. We're gonna be wrapping up soon. Uh, I just realized, like, oh yeah, get Ninja any... Flow on on iTunes. It's on iTunes now. Yeah. That was a thing. Yes. It's, it's also um, up, not only is it on iTunes, stuff. it is currently on uh, it's on Apple Music, which is iTunes, and it's on uh, Amazon. So you can buy it on Amazon. You can also get it on Google Play, and it's also available on Spotify. You made the rounds, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's available on pretty much every platform. So if anyone wants it, you've got no excuse. Hashtag um, Spotify Master Race. Hashtag, yeah, like, hashtag YouTube to MP3 org or whatever. Oh my god, that doesn't work wow, just, wow, just just make it easier for people to steal your song. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I kind of expect it to happen regardless. But I've actually That's got so dumb. Like, You can like, listen to it for free. I actually have an iTunes gift card. I'm pretty sure I've had it for like five years. And like the thing on the back is supposed to scratch off to get the code. It's still not scratched off. I haven't used the thing yet. I don't even oh, know dude. how much money is on this thing. Buy our song. No. <laughs> it's only 99 well, cents. There's no excuse. Yeah. For Sega Candy Bar and also supporting us on Patreon. I don't buy candy Sega bars. Buy well. Yeah, I don't either. For Sega, for Sega Soft Drink or something. Ah, uh, but my frappe is. Uh, Wait, frappes are a soft drink. I don't they think you don't can get a frappe a for unless you get cents. Unless you Gosh. carbonate your frappe. Do you get carbonated frappes? Ew, that sounds disgusting. I hate that ice you in frappes. You ate chocolate on shrimp! <laughs> <laughs> when I was five years old. Uh, wait, wait, why did you add... You, that completely changes things. Yeah. That completely How changes much? How much? I mean, not, it's still gross, but like... I mean, kids do gross things. Like, I used yeah, to get a whole... Kid- I used to get a whole bowl of ketchup. I used to do all kinds of stupid things when I was your age. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, purple. When I was when you when I was your age, the age that you are right Bar, now. When you were my, my age, we met. It's true. That's it's so funny. weird, dude. Man, I've well, always thought like age is a really interesting thing, right? Because like in the time span that you have known me is the amount of years that I have had to live my life before you. Like, I have, like, two Whoa. extra years of experience that you do not have. And, and yet, that's just, here we are. Well, yeah, and yet here we are. I mean, I haven't and, done yeah, much for me Yeah, and now think of the difference but... between you and me. A lot. Oh. That's even worse. <laughs> like, I, like, uh, you could have gone through high school and the amount of time that Takuma has lived prior to you. <laughs> that's true. Man. Right? That that's life, a long li- time. That's crazy, right? Life is funny, man. There's so I many mean, things that you can do in the amount of time between your age differences. I mean, I was talking I don't remember who it was anymore. I was talking to somebody like after the last podcast I did, and they're like, Oh yeah, when Bionicle started, I was two years old. Two years old? I was right? eleven. Yep. Oh my god, I was, I was just like double four. Digits. When Bionicle first started, it's like, oh my god. There are like, people you subscribed to our read channel. The first comic. There are people subscribed to our channel watching this video right now who were not born when Bionicle came out. Oh that's my the craziest god. thing who to me. We're that's, probably that's not so born until they probably didn't even see the, the All American Rejects or witness the Move Along song, no. right? They weren't even conscious for that. That is crazy to me. Move along, move along. And the the worst part is it doesn't even feel like it was that long ago either. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like crazy. Bionicle wasn't that long ago. How are you this old if you weren't born until it came out? That is how life works. It's full of mysteries, and time really slips away from you. Yeah. Like, all the uh, all the fans that came up to me during Ninjago, like or during Brick Fair, who were like Ninjago TLDR fans. Those are all younger kids, and <laughs> none of those kids know anything about Bionicle. Because you Bionicle... guys have talked about how that's going to come back, right? Yes, uh, I don't know like when it's several that... times. <laughs> yeah, it, it, TLDR will be coming back. It's not going to be. Uh, people keep saying it's coming back soon. It's not going to be nah. coming back soon. We, we got um, other things we're doing at the moment. Yeah, there's a lot of things we're working on. Also, uh, keep in mind that the whole like, while I was off, you know, making not TLDR was going to be the time where I'd be prepping for TLDR season two and writing the script and everything and getting that ready to go. But since TLDR was canceled, I didn't do any of that prep work. 
So now we kind of have to start from the scratch with that. Um, so it's going to be a little bit. It's going to be some time before TLDR 2 comes out. but uh, Which is fine. Got to make a good product. But it's really cool that uh, it's yeah. going to work out. So, but it, it will come back eventually. Uh, it's just going to be delayed a little bit. So. You got to make an original theme song for it. I did make an original theme song. Make another one. Like, the, the song in the intro is music that we made. Yeah. No, I mean, like, with lyrics. <laughs> You gotta do like an anime opening. <laughs> I uh, I did do my own version of uh, a high affinity version of uh, the Weekend Whip. We did a that's cover. Cool. Um, I high lost that remake. What? I lost it though. Yeah, that's that's the only problem is that I don't know. That's not file so is. cool. Yeah, I, I think I lost it when my computer blue screened. So alas, it was pretty neat. Aww. We ended up. Oh, I know what happened. We I couldn't finish making it obviously, but the uh, the work in progress like um clip that I was able to render out and show you guys, which was not going to be the final song, but it was a work in progress song, was what we ended up using for the intro for Ninjago cast. Fantastic. Mm. So we did end up using that. Um, it was going to be a full full cover song of the Weekend Whip, um, but we ended up using that for uh, Ninjago cast. And I don't have the file for it anymore, so it, it's not like it's going to progress any further than that. Is the Ninjago cast the music on Dropbox? Yes, it should be. Okay, I need to find that. I hope it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. We'll Somewhere see. in that mess. Yeah, Dropbox is like a labyrinth, dude. <laughs> gotta clean that out. Okay, well, we're at the hour mark. I figure it's time we go ahead and close out this show of ours. But it has been a fun one. Many laughs were had. Many discussions were unlocked, if you will. And I never never gave any plugs. So I completely forgot. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we'll just nice. go with the end. Uh, if you'd like to support us, you can either buy Ninja Flow <laughs> or check us out on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the TTV channel. Set your own price, get your own rewards. You know, as low as $1 helps us out a ton. And also, if you want to be a part of our consistent discussion about Lego and everything else, check us out at the TTV message boards or the TTV channel.com. There's always a cool thing to do over there. We recently upgraded the boards. You can now, on some subforums, view like cool images as you scroll through. It's really yeah. fantastic. It, Our boards just consistently get better and better. It does seem like every year something new gets added that's just really cool. Um, I love it so much. This one was actually John's a, idea, so kudos to him. But um, it's it's really cool because like now you can actually like as you're just browsing the Lego Creations forum, you can see the creations without having to actually click on anything. You know, so you can get a yep. good view of good mocks or mocks you're interested in and you can even like it from that page alone without having to click on the topic itself so there's, it's just it it speeds up browsing through mocks so much it's great. it is the streamlined messenger experience i'm looking forward to seeing what else happens in the future but right now it's, it's pretty top notch so check us out over there and also every week we like to give a special shout out to one of our patrons who helped make this a reality this week the shout-out goes to Sean Croner, a $1 patron who is directly responsible for continuing to support our content. Every dollar helps, and we appreciate it so very much. Yay. That is honestly all for TTV 266. Thank you all for coming out. I'll see you in another three weeks. <laughs> it's been fun. I'm Mesa. I'm Var. I'm Takuma Nuva. And I'm Purple. And farewell, everybody. Have a good one. Later, Bye. guys. Stop.